Are you Umesh? Could you please introduce yourself? Umer. Oh. <laughs> Hi Umer, could you please introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Umer Jaliawala. I come from Pakistan. I'm an inspirational speaker, an entrepreneur and a facilitator. Uh, and I've worked with about 75,000 individuals uh, back in Pakistan and some abroad. Uh, and um, director School of Leadership, founder Torque Corp. Both of these are learning organizations. My experience ranges from the corporate professionals to teachers to parents to social workers uh, down to the youth. Uh, and that's the bandwidth that I've worked with. What did you do here at Seliger? At Seliger we have facilitated about six sessions, uh, all of them to do with uh, soft skills training, my forte. Uh, so for example, you've just ended this session called uh, Max Live Your 100% and the idea was to give a couple of psychological tools for participants to be able to think beyond their lives uh, and to be able to see what is it that, uh, that uh, contrives their living, what is it that limits their thinking. Uh, and uh, it's it's been a great response. I didn't expect this kind of response coming in from an international bunch, parts of about 80 countries, but they're all responding to the beat and it's it's a lot of fun here. How many people have you provided um, speeches or training to and um, what uh, do you think people think about what you have to say? To yeah, them? more or less every day for me is a new audience. Uh, but it could be the range could be it could be a large auditorium to a five-star hotel, or to about 20 people workshop. So from uh, hundreds to twenties, that's the range that we work with, large groups and small groups. Uh, in all, I've worked with about 75,000 people. Like I said, this is my five-year experience, uh, and uh, every year it just grows. It every year it grows, multiplies in terms of the diversity we have, uh, and in terms of the people we reach out to indirectly as well so participants that we have trained have now become facilitators they're going out training others a lot of participants here have taken notes of a lot of content and they say they're going to replicate it in their countries so the indirect impact is much more than we can calculate